Have a bad hair day? Don't worry, I'm coming to the rescue. Hey guys, well, one of the first videos that um, many of my viewers requested was something dealing with my bangs. I usually wake up, I, I wash my hair at night and I sleep on it and then wake up the next day and not often it's going to be very great looking. So when you do have a bad day or a bad bang day like me because I do have uh, sweeping bangs, then you just got to come up with a quick solution. And the first hair do I hair do that I did was uh, the one where I pulled my bangs back. So it's very simple. I would say it's like 10 seconds. So here, here, here's how I did it. I went, I grabbed my bangs right here because it was ugh, bad. And if you have a lot of flyaways, you can just kind of slightly hairspray it a little. Let's see, grab this hair. My bangs are here. Kept twisting. You can see twist, twist. Twist, grab a little bit more hair. Each time I twist, I grab a little bit of the hair that's like down here. I just twist it. Kept twisting till I got to the back of my hair. And so pretty much it gives it that twisted look. Grab two bobby pins right here. And then just pin that into my head and then secure it in there. And if you have a lot of flyaways, just kind of put a little bit more wax or anything you want in your hair in. That's it. That's the first hair. It took only like 15 seconds. The second hair that uh, a lot of my viewers asked for was the one I did when I wore the hunter green top. And that one took a little bit more time than the first one. So all I did was, let me see, slightly tease the crown. And then slightly kind of untangle it a little bit, smooth the top. Around, right grab the front section of my hair, and then just started braiding it. That's it. And then once I got this done, grab some more bobby pins, two of them probably. Pull it to the back right here. Pin it and just make sure it's secure back there. And that is one side. And then the other side, I just did the same thing. Put it to the back of my hair and secure it pretty much crisscross on top of the other braid that I made. You can tell. Smooth it out a little bit. Make sure my teasing looks good. If it's not, let me see. Just give it a little bit of this. If not, bring it up a little bit more. You want it higher? Just use this and then make it a little bit higher. And I think that was it. That was all I did for the second hair. For the third one, um, usually I will bend over a bed or a sofa, but you know, since I'm using the daylight, I want to make it a little bit easier for you to see, so I'll just go over my little ottoman. Hopefully you can see it. I went around and French braid my hair. But you see the braids, the um, French braid I did right here? Pretty much got done with that. You can have your bangs down if you want, but I'll just pull my hair back. And I can just tease this with hairspray or without, it doesn't matter. Tease it top to the bottom. Once I get my hair up, I will have use a hair tie and put it up. I will section out a piece of my hair, probably about this thick, however much. And then everything else that I have um, teased, I just pretty much, let me see, twist my hair. Twist my hair. And then I wrap it around. Tucking my ends in underneath the bun, which is fine. 
you can actually use a sock bun if you would like to but since I don't have it on hand right now I'm just gonna show you how I did it last time so once I have that I will braid this hair right here have this braid and then I am just going to wrap this around wrap my braid around and then pin it in if your hair is actually short you might have to have a bring out two of these little um, strands of braid and then have wrap one this way and then one the other way and overlap them so it will look like it wraps around your hair and for all these little baby hairs I have, I always have baby hair. Just gonna. I think this is perfect for a day when you have second day hair and you get, it gets a little bit oily and you just want to put it up. Then just wrap around and throw a little braid around it and it makes it really easy. So I hope these three hair tutorials is really quick and simple for you to try. And it's definitely something I do a lot because I don't always have the greatest bang day. So um, that's why I tend to do pull, just pull my hair back out of my face. So I hope this is easy and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.